There are two themes in Hanukkah. Hanukkah means chinuch. Mechanech. So that can be translated in two ways. It can be translated as dedication, which is a simple translation, that's what we say it is. It's lechanech et hamikdash. They dedicated the temple, rededicated the temple yet again. And that's what we celebrate about Hanukkah. That's why we're celebrating eight days and nights. Because they rededicated the temple back in the day after the Greeks and the Syrians had contaminated it completely. There's another thing in Hanukkah, which is chinuch. Chinuch, in the sense, education. Every single one of us, standing here tonight, every single one of us has friends, has relatives, has people that they know, people they can influence. Hanukkah is a day that we think to ourselves and we say, let's take a message out. Let's take a message to the world. What's the message that we can take from Hanukkah? What's the message we can take for other people? I propose that we go back to the Maccabees. We look at what they said when they were faced with the challenge when it came to the lighting of the menorah. What did they say? They only had enough oil for one day. I'm sure there were those that stood around the temple and they said, you know what guys, we only have enough oil for one day. It's gonna take us eight days to light the menorah. I have an idea. The menorah was on vacation for the last year, two years, three years, right? Okay, hold off. We'll wait another seven days. Big deal. We'll light the menorah. And when we light the menorah, we'll light it with a large jug of oil, gallons and gallons of oil. And we'll light the menorah consistently. We'll go forward. Well, obviously that's not what happened. There was another group of people there. I don't know if it was a lot or if it was a few. It could have been one Meshuggah who decided, no, I'm going to run up and I'm going to light the menorah. He said, I don't know. Today I'm standing here and I see a menorah that is dark. I see a menorah that is not lit. I can't. I can't, see, I can't stand it anymore. I can't see a menorah that is dark. It has been dark for too long. He took a jug of oil, he went up to the menorah, he filled it up, and he lit it. So God will take care of the rest. I don't know. He ran up, and he lit the menorah, and he wasn't overwhelmed by the circumstances. He wasn't overwhelmed by what he thought could have been the end of it. No. He said, you know what, I'm going to light it now. It will be dark this later, maybe, I don't know, it's not my problem. He ran up, he lit the menorah. What happened? God said, ah, I appreciate that. That, that is someone who understands the true spirit of Yiddish God, the true spirit of Judaism. And so Hashem said, God said, okay, you lit the menorah. I'll keep it going. And he made a miracle. Not once, not twice, but eight times in a row. And that's what we have the eight days of Hanukkah for. So the message that we should take to the other people that we know, the chinuch that we're bringing to the other people, is live now and live with the truth that we have. Live and give. Don't be worried about the outstanding circumstances that are coming up against us and we don't know what's going to happen, what's going to come against us, what could be in the future, in the past. Remove yourself. Lift yourself higher. Hold yourself forth. Say l'chaim and feel Jewish, do a mitzvah, connect yourself to Hashem. L'chaim, l'chaim. L'chaim, l'chaim.